Welcome back to Hasbro's Hide. Um, I mentioned in previous videos that I thought I was getting case head separation. And uh, you see it well in these cases. Not. These are 10 that I pulled out. And there's a line. I'll, I'll show. I'll zoom in and we'll show some things here in a minute. But there's a line right at the base that I was really getting concerned about. And so 10% uh, of them or so after about five firing, some less than that, were showing this line. And some of them are quite heavy. So I pulled them out and put them into our brass scrap can. Well, I decided to pull them out because one of the viewers of the channel uh, messaged me and said that he had also seen this very same thing with this Hornady bulk brass. Now, the Hornady commercial brass in the box or in ammunition that I bought, uh, none of it shows this issue, nor some other subsequent defects I'll show you um, in a minute. But we're going to use our Tesson bore scan, bore scope, and we're going to zoom in on the inside of the case um, to see what you can see. But... I can tell you ahead of time, you can see a good bit with a bore scope on the outside, but inside the case, because of you can only go down so far, uh, this line is um, really hard to see inside the case. You get some indication of it. So what I ended up doing was uh, making a little jig and going down with my bandsaw and cutting them in half, and then uh, polishing them and cleaning them up just a little bit and try to see that as well. So we'll take a look on the outside, we'll take a look on the inside, and then we'll take a look at a cross section and see if we can make determine that determination then is this Hornady bulk brass uh, a potential issue. All right, uh, looking at our case head separation brass, the stuff I had called out before in a previous video on a 6.5 Grendel, this is the Hornady bulk brass. And as I mentioned, uh, you know, I, I pulled out 10 or so, about 10% of this brass uh, showed early signs of case head separation, at least that's what I believed it to be. Uh, and so this is a look with a bore scope uh, holding it, you know, the best I can on the outside, but it allows you to zoom up. And there you can see some surface pitting right in that line, like it's starting to tear um, the case. And then you can see the clear band of bulge on the outside of the case. And so this is just three of the ten that I pulled out uh, that showed this, this situation. Now, we'll look at, here's some brand new of the same brass. So this is before any firing, but it's the same bulk brass. So you can see that the defects are not there um, during, uh, you know, initially, obviously, it's happening during firing, which is sort of what you would expect. But um, just thought you might like to see that. Now, we'll look inside of this one and give you an idea of is there any kind of a defect on the inside, and there's not. Now, you'll see when we get to the other brass, well, actually, related to case head separation, there's not. But you will see another defect down in the bottom of this. If you look real carefully, you're going to see a discoloration. Um, spot in there and around that then there's going to be cracks uh, and that's from the forming of this brass so I'm not sure if the conditions were wrong that they formed to that I don't know if temperatures matter when they do it uh, or if the alloy is off I don't know but there's something wrong with these uh, bulk brass rounds and the second one I believe shows a little bit more so let's take a look at it uh, down inside of there now if you watch carefully around the, the largest diameter of the bottom you're going to see some cracks, uh, and that's concerning where they are. Um, so there's the dark spot in the upper left view. I guess let me rotate it around here a little bit. There you go. Now see the dark spot, and then to the sides of that, then you see cracks that are down inside of this. And this is brand new. It's never been fired at all. Um, so there's I just, there just has to be an issue with this brass. Now, is it just my brass that I got? Well, I thought so for a while until... One of the other um, viewers of the channel and member on the Facebook reported he's seen the same thing on this uh, on this issue with this bulk brass. And so if you have this, watch carefully as you move through your firings and keep checking for signs of cracks and case head separation. Uh, because I believe it's a real issue. You can see that the head of the case looks really kind of rough and uh, almost like cold formed, uh, cold rolled steel, that kind of surface when it first comes off. Um just not what the production, sort of normal production brass looks like at all. Now, here's the other one. I wanted to show you this one because I had mentioned in previous videos that there were marks on it. And right there above the H and the O, see that little swiggle? Little squiggle? Um, it's a groove. And it looks like it's, uh, it, it, well, it was definitely done during forming because this, this has never been fired. And I've seen this on oh, probably at least 30% of the lot. Uh, all of them have this rougher appearance to the face. But a lot of them have these wrinkles, um, 
interesting again I, what's the cause i don't know but uh there's a deeper sort of wrinkle it's kind of see with the light right right there going between the l and back to the y uh in that section of the lettering but yeah something's up something's up because uh the cases don't look right and they're not lasting as long as they should either so um let's take a look at the inside of the cases and then we can you know get a better judgment then um, of what's going on uh, here's just another view of one that has been fired several times by the way for a comparison um, before we go looking at the inside of the cases so as you fire it it tends to hammer out that surface of course it's driving it against the bolt um, but it, then you see then that bulge line there clearly visible but one thing i want you to also see is the case heads uh, the actual head there is not chewed up. It's not beat up. I've not been over pressure um, using two, two loads that are too hot for this brass at all. Uh, I've been pretty careful about staying away from the max loads and trying to work within reasonable limits. And so the case has not bent, chewed up or anything. So just in case that was uh, something you're wondering about. So here's one that's been fired as well several times. And... Um, Oh, I'm sorry, this is a new new brass, my mistake. You can tell because there's no bulge on that and it's shinier. Now here's another one again, been fired, another example of one. You can see the bulge uh, above that line right there, sort of diagonal across the top of the screen. But again, the case head is fine. It's not getting damaged or having good extraction. You know, nothing really going on from the loads that I've choose to use it for. And this is... Uh, five times fired on this on these cases all right let's run our bore scope down inside of some of this brass i believe that there's case head separation going on now if we come into this area you can see this ring and if you look at the top of your screen it's sort of right where we see the first dark color change and it's a reflection back at us you can definitely see this ring now this is different than the new brass which I showed a picture of as well. Because the new brass, you'd see a shiny ring and that would distort it as it comes out. This definitely shows a very slight surface change. Now, it's, it's, uh, it appears to be really dramatic here. Uh, and I'll show you in a minute with the cross sections um, that maybe it's not as dramatic as it appears. But for sure, you can see it optically. So that means it is there. The reflections are showing it is existing. It's not just a reflection off the bottom of the case there. Um, there's more to it than that. But uh, nonetheless, uh, it's not as dramatic as it would look. Uh, you see it from the outside for the same reason, because the surface deviation then reflects the light. Uh, here's a second case uh, showing the same thing, another one with the same kind of issue. And then you can see sort of right at the bottom of your screen there, now towards the middle, that band going around there. Um, it's not all the reflection of the light. But nonetheless, we need to cross-section this now and then see how uh, significant this really is. Is it a big change? But for sure, the case is elongating and stretching. All cases do this, okay, when you fire them. It just is this excessive. All right, so what's the final verdict? Well, the outside of the case does seem to indicate there's case head separation. The brass does not seem to be of the same quality as the normal Hornady boxed production or the Hornady ammunition uh, that you would buy using their brass, um, both from an external appearance and from the head quality, uh, the roughness and the, the, the pitting, the strange uh, sort of cold forming marks perhaps is what those are, and then cracks on the inside, and that's uh, that was concerning. Maybe that's normal, I don't know. I haven't pore scoped a lot of brass or cross-section it, um, but maybe I will now in the future, so it may be something to do. Check your brass and look for uh, cracks and things in the head. Um, it might be a good thing to sort for. Maybe it's normal. I think I'll have to spend some time finding out. But as far as the... As far as the um, the transition here in the web and tra and coming up and you know seeing if there's a, a big dent on the inside where it's been stretched I, I can't see that there's there is some light you see a shadow there where it sort of cast a ring so I, there is definitely some uh, stretching going on in that case and I you know that's normal all cases are going to do that as you fire then you know the base is being held within the this uh, the shoulder and the neck can extrude up 
uh, to meet your chamber. And so it's going to pull, and it's going to pull down here and, and stretch a little bit. I don't see anything in the worst case brass here that I have, though, that says, you know, hey, it's the, there's an incipient failure coming right away, uh, incipient case head failure. So, yeah, it's discomforting to see this. Uh, I don't see it on good brass. And so this Hornady bulk brass, if you have it, watch for this, because I do believe it's the onset of that, although it's not to the point I believe it's catastrophic. But I'm sure there's a very fine line, because this brass has already been stretched, or we'd say it's strained, um, in this area. And you can't anneal down here. If you anneal down here, you'll just case a fail dramatically. And so uh, that stress and, and all will still be there um, in that area. So they will fail sooner, I'm confident. Um, than the other brass because of what's going on here. So um, not a good thing. The quality of the brass is lower. Uh, this bulk brass, either, I suspect there's a reason it's being shipped in bulk. Um, but anyway, make that judgment for yourself. Like I said, there, there is another view of the channel and a fellow member of Facebook channel as well that is seeing this exact same thing. So it's not just my brass and as, as we noticed then the case heads themselves were perfect they were not damaged they were not gouged into by the extractor there was no high pressure damage or anything happening um, from my rounds because i had not excessively loaded any of these um, in this stayed away from the maximums on all cases and the brass shows it it's in the head and as far as extraction it was in very good shape so anyway, be careful if you have this brass. Keep your eye on, it. keep your eye on this Hornady bulk brass, um, and but be safe in your shooting, and always inspect your brass.